Hey guys, North Wales Mini Wargame here. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a model showcase uh, featuring a Death Watch Venerable Dreadnought. Um, this is a fantastic plastic kit from Games Workshop. Um, really, really high quality. Didn't have many, if any, problems with mold lines at all. Really easy fixes. Just file them straight down. Very, very good. Uh, building it was easy due to this fact. Um, if you, the main thing about this model that I found is that the arms are socket joints, so they're not actually uh, requiring you to glue down the arms, which is fantastic um, in my opinion because that means that you can kit out uh, the dreadnought with different weapons for each game you play without having to magnetize it, which you know, less expense, so that's always great. Uh, we'll be talking a bit about, more about the weapons it has later. Um, in terms of painting this model, I uh, I followed the typical Death Watch uh, armor uh, armor scheme or armor color scheme, uh, fully black, fully black armor with a silver left arm and a usually. Uh, the chapter markings of the chapter that it came from. However, um, this dreadnought doesn't have that um, due to the fact that I painted it as if it was a a deserter. To it deserted its uh, former chapter and was picked up by the Death Watch anyway. The right arm is the main weapon arm or the ranged weapon arm of the Venerable Dreadnought. Uh, with this kit you've got three options that you can kit it out with. Uh, you have the plasma cannon, the auto cannon, and the las cannon, which is the one I have currently got it equipped with. Um, due to the fact that, as I said before, the socket uh, joint on, or these, well it's a sort of socket joint, on it, on the model, you can easily slide on and off uh, the various arms onto the model so that you can battle by battle kit this out with any of the three so depending on which army you're facing you can use the uh, the gun to suit you don't have to proxy it saying that you know ah, I'm using an auto cannon when there's really a las cannon on there this also means that you can slide them on and off so it eliminates the need for magnetizing them which just makes the model that much cheaper to do Next we have the left arm, which is the melee close combat or close range arm uh, on the Dreadnought. Uh, this is kitted out with a Dreadnought Power Fist and a heavy flamethrower, so this is really good at uh, dealing with enemies close up and personal. Uh, like the right armour, the mounted weapon is painted with a red case. So as you can see, um, both guns have that standout red case which really makes them pop and really makes them uh, sort of vibrant and stand out on the model. Here we have the base of the model. Um, with this I have done a blue broken ice um, sort of theme which is one that it runs throughout my Death Watch army. Uh, however, you can see that this one gave me the brilliant, brilliant opportunity of having such a lovely sculpted base that I could really work with and these cracks really helped fit my theme. They look like really big chunks of ice that have huge cracks in them and it looks like it's cracking under the pressure of the Dreadnought. It looks really fantastic and I'm super happy, super, super, super happy with how it came out. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail as to how and what, col what colours I used and how I painted it because I'm going to make a future video on that where I replicate this effect without the luxury of the model, of the uh, sculpted base so that you can uh, follow on and if you guys want to do anything similar to this you can find out how. Right guys, thank you very much for watching this video, it means a huge amount that you've come and spent some time with me today. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy this content, it gives an enormous amount of uh, boost to show me and put me in the direction of making content that is really enjoyable for you guys and I really, really do hope that it is enjoyable for you guys. Uh, if you want to follow me and f keep up to date with what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, and again, another huge booster to 
keep me going in terms of making new content as well as enabling um, the notifications uh, by clicking that little bell button that, that lives alongside the subscribe button this is really crucial in the sense of it gives you why well, it gives you a little notification every time I create a new video well, I upload a new video so this will keep you being able to see when my next video comes out and hopefully finding another bit of information that you may find useful. As well as doing this, uh, you can always check and find out when a video is coming relatively soon on my Instagram as well. I like to give little teasers as to what's coming up next and I like to have uh, pictures about what I'm up to and that sort of thing. It's really good for audience interaction as well so please head on over there and check that out link is in the description uh, also you can check out my previous video um, link to that is also in the description uh, if you fancy watching it if not then don't that's fine as well uh, but once again thank you all so very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one